My name's Jeremy Jewell, married 25 years, just celebrated last month to my wife, Felicia. I'm Meredith Lindemann. I'm married to Eric, and we have four kids under the age of 10. Hi, my name's uh, Ross Champlain, and this is my wife, Rochelle. Ross and I have been married for three years. We have both been at COTM for a year and a half. We started going to Church on the Move, it would have been in August of 2010, so uh, almost 14 years now. I've been attending Church on the Move since 2005. My husband and I would come in and do the weekend services, but we didn't really know anybody. In December of 2019, I had some things unfolding in my life, and I really came to the conclusion that I didn't know what love was. And I started on this journey that then took me into COTMU year one. That's really where I learned about the character of God. It was a lot, a lot of life happening. Oh, I'm young and invincible and like, it's fine. I got really sick and that was like such a hard time of like, when the rubber meets the road, like what am I standing on? And so I think that that's the first time I noticed like, wow, there is a really big gap here. Where does my faith and what is my foundation rooted in? Learning about COTMU, I was like, wow, this really feels like something that is like up my alley. Just something that really, I think, could help me to dive deeper into the word. When Rochelle first said that she wanted to do COTMU, seeing her explode with enthusiasm for scripture, I can't wait for her to come home every Tuesday night so I can ask her, what'd you learn? What'd you learn? What'd you learn? Tell me about it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to whatever opportunities come my way, which I believe is going to land me at year one. When we got the call to come to Oklahoma, we knew that's what we were supposed to do. It was very rapid, it was chaotic. We left everybody behind. And it took a while, and really what we had there, finding it here, came to fruition with the, the COTMU suite of offerings. Walking in to say uh, a COTMU Bible study last Tuesday night, I walk in and I, I see Lowell and I see John, Rachel and Candace and Angela, and it's just smiles, right? They may be talking to somebody else, but you just sense the presence of that friend, that brother, that sister in the room, and you just know you're where you're supposed to be. Last summer, we lost my father-in-law. This time I had somebody to call. I reached out to my entire table from COTMU year one. There were two ladies who showed up at my doorstep and they were there with hugs and groceries. After a few weeks, I asked my eight-year-old son, I said, how are you doing? How are you doing, Betty? And he said, mom, I just feel so loved. And it was because of the people at this church showing up for us in that season. All of this has created just more of a hunger to know the Word and know my Bible, but not just for me, but for everyone around me and in my life. Knowledge for the sake of knowledge is not helpful. So like, if it's not making us better followers of Jesus, then like, what are we doing? Conversations about the Bible and God just sort of naturally occur in my house now, and I just smile. And in so many ways, I'm living in dreamland. The goal at the end of the day is not to, as Paul would say, be puffed up, right? It's just to know Jesus better. As we build disciples that have biblical literacy and they learn to live authentically, it is going to do amazing things for the kingdom of God, and I can't wait to see what that is.